Okay, so today we're running a synesthesia stress test on an AI model. Basically, we're asking it to pretend it's a confused art student who accidentally licked the universe. First, I asked it to describe smell, but using only temperatures, and it didn't even flinch. It hit me with gasoline smells like a sharp 104 degree flash. So, you know, I mean, I don't know if that's what it smells like, but we'll see. So what this tells us is that a model can map concepts across sensory domains. In other words, it can connect ideas humans normally keep in separate mental drawers and just dump them all onto the floor together. Then I asked it to describe taste as music. Chocolate, cello, lemon, a trumpet to the face, mint, a smug little harp solo. This shows the model's really good at abstract analogies. It can find shared emotional shapes between things that have nothing to do with each other. So then I leveled up the chaos a bit and asked for textures described as emotions and animal sounds as ice cream flavors. And it just kept going, like owls taste like midnight blueberry silence. Sir, what does that even mean, and why do I feel like I want it? So, what does all this actually show? When an AI can handle weird constraint-heavy prompts like these, it's a sign that it's good at things like flexible reasoning, sensory blending, metaphor generation, and following really bizarre rules without losing the plot. If it could describe a snake hiss as cold mint venom, trust me, it can handle your business emails. Give it a try. Just kind of keep it away from your ice cream shop.